and welcome to my next video. This is actually a packing video because as some of you will be aware I'm actually going on holiday in August so at the time of filming this I'm about to go away so I thought I would show you the kind of things I've packed so hope you enjoy. <laughs> So I've tried to pick the best angle to show you the items in my suitcase and I believe this is it. So I'm currently sat on my spare room bed um, with my suitcase next to me and I'm going to basically show you what I've packed. So to go on the top of everything I've put a hat and a hoodie. The hoodie is going to be packed in with all the clothes that I've currently put in here which I'm going to kind of show you whilst they're in the bags. I am vacuum packing this time round just because I wanted to try and make as much space be available as possible. So I'll show you the kinds of things I've packed for that. And yeah, so I'm trying to think about the easiest way to show you. So let's have a go at adjusting. Okay, so I've actually got you resting on my suitcase, hence why it's so low down. But as you can see, um, I've put all of my clothes into one vacuum bag at the moment. There is another one over here, which I'll show you momentarily. But in this one, I have two pairs of trousers, my swimwear, my beach towel, and then if I flip it over, I have all my underwear, my socks, and I believe underneath I've put all my sports bras as well. Just a nice, simple, easy way of packing, and it takes up barely any space. Um, I've got a couple of extra things still to put in, so I've got some thick socks just here. I've got one of my sports bras to include. And then if I move a little bit off the bed... Huh, want to lose that um i've got some conditioner to pack as well so i'll show you that when it's in there i'll move that one out of the way and then in the primark bag the trusty primark bag are the other things i'm using so in this vacuum bag which i haven't taken all the air out of yet i have all my tops and my um shorts in that side and then i flip it over I've got some new PJs that I bought um, and another pair of tracksuit bottoms just because you never know when you need them. Um, I'm planning on doing some horse riding on holiday so that's why I've packed tracksuit bottoms. But all my tops are in there with bottoms. I've also got those which you've already seen. Um, and then in this part I have a pair of my trusty flip-flops that I like using. They are a little bit worn. I was going to try and find a new pair but I've not had not managed to find a pair I like. So we're going to take these with me, probably for this last time this year. And then, if we ignore those, I've got beach shoes just in case I need them as well. But they are just sitting in the bottom of the case because it's the best place to put them. And then, obviously, the vacuum bag currently sits on the top. So, I'm going to move that out of the way. But in here is basically the items that I'm taking with me. So I'm going to pack my bum bag because that's always handy to have. Um, I'm also taking a laundry bag, which I may or may not end up using. This will just be kind of the daily one that I can throw things in and potentially use it if I'm going to the beach, if I just want a quick little bag to carry. So let's just pretend I'm packing this suitcase. Um, I have my trusty little purse that I always use. Um, on holiday, I try not to take my big one because realistically I don't need all the cards in my big one. So I'm going to take this one as well and hope for the best. But that will be coming with me. Um, also compulsory at the moment, I'm going to have to take two face masks. I will have an extra one in the bag for taxi and I believe my sister has one that I can use as well while I'm there. So I will have four in total, three of which will be reusable and I'll also have another one that's washable. So that's always handy. Um, regarding toiletries, I kind of put some in this bag. I do have some painkillers for me, um, a, bro a brunette a shampoo, I think that is. I'll just open this up and show you, so move them out of the way. Um, so I have a shower gel, a shampoo, some wipes just in case, a first aid kit and a tub of Vaseline because you never know when your lips might go a bit dry especially if we're going to be swimming a lot or in the um, hot tub a lot. So I'm just going to pop these things back in here so that I know where they are. 
So that is technically my wash bag, but that's not everything in there yet. Um, I think I've mentioned it. I can't even work out where I've put it. But I did also have a conditioner. I think I've thrown it here. Maybe not. I'll find that in a moment. I've hidden it somewhere. Um, I've also got a flannel to take with me, because you never know. You might need it. Um, just taking a pack of these, just in case, because I'm not due whilst I'm on holiday. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but you take them just in case, because you never know when you might need them. So I always take one pack, just in case. I've also got some shampoo, not shampoo, sun cream to take with me. So I've got a 15 and a 50, and I said to my sister I would take those, and we can use them up if we need to. Um, my sunglasses and sunglasses case are coming with me as well. I might not leave them in the case, I haven't decided yet. Um, but something we always try and find useful are some washing bags. So I bought two from the pound shop and I also bought some toasty bags because I'm a bit fussy about sandwiches. So I'm taking toasty bags just in case I decide to use them. Um, I have a brand new brush, complete with tag at the moment to take with me on holiday. I just thought I'd treat myself to a new brush while I'm away. I have a Mac in a bag, which is always handy to take as well. I have a toothbrush, which is obviously going to be taken out of the packet and I need to think about toothpaste as well. So I'll have to put a pack of toothpaste in as well. And then I also have some hot chocolate sachets to take. Now, I don't normally take hot chocolate with me, but because we are staying in a cabin where, well, a lodge where we're basically catering for ourselves, I thought I'd take some of these. If I use them all, I use them all. If I come back with any, it'll be a bonus, but I've only got four of these to take with me, so I just thought those would be handy. And the final item, oh no, I found my conditioner. I can't remember if I've included that, but I'm taking raspberry conditioner with me, which I'm going to put there. And then I've also got some travel bands because we are doing a boat trip one of the days that we are away. So I thought those would come in handy to take with me. So as you can see, I've only really put the clothes away at the moment. So this is obviously not how the suitcase will be packed. It'll be much neater. Um, but in addition to my suitcase, I'm taking a rucksack, which I'm going to flat pack into my suitcase. And I've also got a travel bag, which I may or may not make another video about. If I make another video, it'll be separate to this one. So you'll see that coming soon. And um, in addition to what I've just mentioned, I'm taking my tripod because I will have my camera with me. So I hope you've enjoyed this kind of what I'm taking in my suitcase video. I haven't obviously packed properly yet, but I will do. And I'll try and get some footage of vacuum packing all of the clothes and things. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all soon. So thanks for watching. Bye.